Welcome to question number eight. In this question, we're given a diagram that shows the cross section ABCD of a small shed. And in this diagram, AB is a vertical line of length 2.12 meters, and AD is a horizontal line of length 1.86 meters. CD is also a straight line, and BC is an arc of a circle, center A. And we're also told that angle BAC is an angle of 0.65 radians. And in question A, we're asked to find the length of the arc BC, so that's the length of the arc BC, in meters, giving our answer to two decimal places. So you might like to try finding the length of the arc BC in meters. Just pause the video and uh, come back when you're ready. If you've got problems in finding lengths of arcs or maybe areas of sectors, you might like to look at the tutorial on arcs and areas of sectors and come back when you feel ready. OK, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Um, we start then by finding the length of the arc BC and the arc BC is basically a part of the circumference of the circle, center A so that part, that fraction if you like is going to be 0.65 radians compared with 2 pi radians for a full turn and it will be of times that is of the circumference of a circle which is 2 pi times the radius and the radius in this example is the length AB or AC which is 2.12 meters so it's times the radius of 2.12 meters okay so when we look at this there's no need to uh, type in the two pi's because they both cancel like so and uh, then we can work this out. Some of you might think I've taken a long time over this because you might be familiar with the formula for arc length but you've got to be careful. Arc length is uh, when, when you've got your angle in radians will always turn out to be the angle times the radius but don't use this uh, formula if you're working in degrees. That's why I personally prefer to stick with the formula from uh, first principles so that it doesn't encourage that mistake. So we've got the angle then times the radius and so if you work this out on a calculator 0.65 then times 2.12 comes out at 1.378 and we're asked to give this to two decimal places so this is 1.38 meters to two decimal places, 2dp. There you go. So hopefully you got that right and if you did then that's going to give you two marks. Okay so we now have finished part A, we've got part B next and in part B we're asked to find the area of the sector BAC so that's to find the area of the sector BAC, okay, giving our answer in square meters to two decimal places. So I'll leave you to do that uh, if you wish. Just pause the video, come back when you're ready. And again, if you've got problems with areas of sectors, our tutorial on that hopefully will help you do the problem. Okay, welcome back then. Let's see how you got on. So we've got our intro here, the area of the sector BAC. Working from first principles again, the area of the sector BAC is going to be a fraction of the area of the circle with center A, as I'm, as I'm indicating here. That fraction then is going to be 0.65 compared with the angle for a complete turn 
in the circle, which would be 2 pi radians, so 0 0.65 compared with 2 pi, of that's times the area of a complete circle, so that would be pi times the radius squared. And the radius in this particular example is 2.12, as we had before, and that is squared. The pi's cancel, like so, and then we just need to do the calculation. Again, a lot of you most probably have not done it this way, just used a formula, which would have been something along the lines half theta, 0.65 times the radius squared, half theta r squared, or maybe a half r squared theta. Again, though, I've just done it in its full form, just so that uh, I can encourage you to see where it's generated from, and uh, hopefully um, that you won't make any mistakes if we're working in degrees. Okay, this one is the only, uh, you can only use this formula if you're working in radians. Okay, so let's just work this out and uh, get on the calculator. What we get is 1.46068 for that calculation. And we've been asked to give it to two decimal places, so that works out at 1.46 square meters to 2 dp. Okay, so hopefully you got that one. And uh, again, if you did, that again is going to be worth two marks to you. Okay. All right, two more parts to go. So we've just got part C now and then part D. So part C, we're asked to find the angle CAD in radians to two decimal places. So find the angle CAD to two decimal places in radians. So just pause the video, come back when ready. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. Angle CAD in radians is going to equal. Well, what we see here is that angle CAD is clearly going to be this right angle here minus 0 0.65 radians. Now, the right angle in radians is pi upon 2 radians, so put that in as pi upon 2, and then we have to subtract the 0 0.65 radians. And if we do that on the calculator, you don't have to be in radians mode for this. Radians or degrees mode will work this out fine. So you only have to be in radians mode if you're doing the sine, cos, or tan of an angle in radians. And we're not doing that, so just use the calculator in any of the two modes and you should get the answer that I've got here, which is 0 0.9207 and so on. Okay, and it equals... 0.92 radians, 0.92 radians. I'm going to write the word radians in. You could use the uh, symbol for radians, which is a C, 0.92 with a little C up there. Um, and that is given to the requested degree of accuracy, which is 2 dp. And if you got that one, you would have got yourself 2 marks. Okay.